Good evening, everyone. Please excuse our slightly late start. I think we're actually doing pretty good this evening. I'd like to welcome everyone here this evening, uh, members of staff, residents, and our television audience. If I could ask the clerk to please call the roll. Vice Mayor Cunha. Here. Council Member Borelli. Here. Council Member Hagen. Here. Council Member Manson. Here. It should be noted that uh, Mayor Machado is not in attendance this evening. Uh, announcements to the public. Mr. Morris, do we have any announcements this evening? None. Thank you, sir. And <laughs> item four, closed session reports. Mr. Driscoll. Thank you. Uh, tonight, the council did not take reportable action in closed session. Thank you, sir. We'll move to item five, adoption of the agenda. We have a revised agenda that was uh, posted on Friday, I believe, so that we were able to make the deadline. Did I have a motion for adoption or any suggested change? I move for adoption. Second. second. We move to second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The agenda is adopted for this evening. That brings us to ceremonial matters, item six, which, uh, given our schedule this evening, fortunately there are none planned for this evening. Moves on to item seven, public comment. Anyone that wishes to address the council on a non-agendized item is invited to do so. Please come forward and state your name for the record. Uh, I will ask that you limit your comments to three minutes. And again, this will be on anything that is not on this evening's agenda. Good evening. My name is Robin Brewers citizen of Placerville. I think if this city council has knowledge or should have had knowledge of any member who sits at the city council who creates a fire, an Robin illegal did. fire, gets fined, I got three minutes, don't I? If, if you are discussing uh, any activity regarding Mayor Machado that is an agenda item this evening. I didn't say that, sir. I said if this city council had knowledge or should have had knowledge of any person setting an illegal fire, getting fined, using a can of gasoline, then this city council should resign. That's the point I wanted to make. Thank you, uh, Vice Mayor Acuna and Council. We do have one item that we've just received this evening, the written correspondence uh, that I'd like to refer to the city. Is the microphone on? Can't hear. Can I ask both the city attorney and our city manager to please speak up this evening? We'll try to do so. Thank you. Uh, the request or the written communication that uh, city manager was referring to is a request by the district attorney that with respect to items 10.1 and 10.2, the council also consider directing all city employees and contractors to fully cooperate with the ongoing criminal investigation regarding the actions of Mayor David Machado, and that uh, the direction include the waiver of the assertion of any privilege relevant to documents or information in the possession of or known by any individual employee or contractor of the city of Placerville. Uh, the author, Michael Pizzuti, opines that the uh, items of 10.1 and 10.2 sufficiently relate to this request that it would satisfy the provisions of the Brown Act and in all uh, due respect to Mr. Pizzuti, I respectfully disagree with him uh, to the extent that the requests require the waiver of privileges and what I interpret that to mean are the privilege of confidential attorney-client communications uh, between uh, anybody on city staff, any city official, and their counsel. Uh, that to me is something that is very different from the items under 10.1 and 10.2 which involve removing Mr. Machado as mayor and a request that he submit a, re, uh, a uh, leave of absence request. Uh, the waiver of a state granted privilege between an attorney and that attorney's client is something entirely different from those two noticed actions. I have no problem with agendizing this for a future council meeting, the next council meeting, but I don't think it would be appropriate to put it on your agenda for tonight's meeting. I think it would be a violation of the Brown Act. Any comment from other council members? I think that uh, we would sound as though we should proceed as you have outlined. I think that's why we have a city attorney. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I also might indicate that I think that with respect to the other request on there, 
um, I believe that uh, the council will be issuing a statement uh, indicating that it intends to cooperate fully with the district attorney's investigation to the extent that we can obviously legally do so, but we can't break the law just to, to comply with this particular request. There are provisions that can, that can allow for the waiver of that attorney-client privilege, and the council can consider that at the next meeting, and we will agenda that. I just want to say I think you have our full support on that, and uh, looking at that the next meeting. Fully support cooperating with the DA. Absolutely. Item 10.1. Consider an action to remove David Machado from the position of the mayor of Placerville. Uh, Mr. Morris and or Mr. Driscoll, could you please give us uh, a brief report as to where we are and why this item is uh, in this format on our agenda this evening? Thank you, Mayor and Council. As you know, this item was placed uh, on the amended agenda for you to uh, consider taking this action tonight. Uh, due to the late notice on we have not prepared a report. However, I would like the city attorney to make a statement regarding these items prior to discussing. Did you want me just to deal with 10.1 first? Yes, sir. Let's take them one at a time. Uh, um, the uh, City code provides for the council to appoint or elect a mayor uh, on an annual basis. Um, there is no provision in the code dealing with the removal of the mayor. However, uh, generally accepted uh, law is that if you are appointed uh, by a particular body to a position, then that body has the power to remove that appointment provided there is no term specified. And as I mentioned, there is no term specified for the position of mayor. Uh, it, it's the same as if you appointed someone to a committee. The council has the ability to remove that point, individual or individuals from the committee. This is consistent with an attorney general's opinion dealing with this exact issue. Uh, so therefore, it's my opinion that the council, having appointed by election, Mr. Machado, as mayor, has the ability to remove that appointment at any time. The mayor basically sits at the pleasure of the council. Thank you, sir. And before I open this to the, or excuse me, are there any questions to uh, the information that John just shared with us? All right. Before I open this to the public, the council has agreed to allow Council Member Matson to read a statement that she has prepared. I would hope everybody would listen. Uh, and uh, take to heart uh, the statement that she has. Councilmember. Thank you, Vice Mayor Kuna. Last Thursday, like so many of you, I was deeply saddened, shocked, and I felt betrayed for the city and for the council by the allegations against Dave Machado. The charges against him are serious, and it is our explicit duty to respond appropriately and strongly as a council. We owe that to you as your elected officials. That being said, let us remember that in this country, a man is still innocent until proven guilty. That is a founding principle of our government which we hold sacred. It does not mean we condone or, or excuse the alleged activity. While we have been concerned about these activities for some time, we have not had the, the investigative power of the DA who we are now relying on to seek the truth. We should stand down now and let them do their work while we do everything necessary to cooperate with the district attorney's office until this unfortunate matter is resolved. Please keep in mind that the alleged transgressions of one do not reflect the integrity of the whole. You have an absolute right to trust your elected officials we must exemplify integrity. And if we no longer do that, we must step down or be removed from office. Right. Lastly, I think it's important to recognize that man is not either black or white. He is not all good or all bad. Dave Machado has worked hard for this city and has made many positive contributions. And he has allegedly made some appalling mistakes that he will answer to in a court of law. I believe in justice. I believe in grace. And I do not think they are mutually exclusive. I encourage us to let the legal process take its course. Our work is to regroup, pull together, 
and get back to the business of his city. I have her best interests at heart always, as does the rest of this council. And I know you do too, even when we disagree. So let's find the common ground and move forward. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Matson. Appreciate your eloquent statements. At this time, if there's no other questions or statements from other council members or staff, I will go ahead and open this item for public comment. Let me clarify again that there are two items this evening regarding uh, the recent actions surrounding uh, Mayor Machado. This first action is uh, an action to remove him from the position of mayor. And as you've heard the city attorney outline, that is something that we are uh, allowed to do by the state and local election law. So um, given the nature of this item, uh, I am going to ask everyone to limit their comments to three minutes. And I will, uh, have, if I have to, I will try and politely interrupt you at the end of three minutes so that everyone that wishes to speak on this item has the opportunity to do so. Uh, I would also ask that everyone please uh, show respect for whoever's at the uh, podium. Uh, please try and remain quiet in the room so that we can hear the testimony and or statements. And so with that, uh, I would ask whoever would like to come forward and talk on item 10.1 to please do so. And again, please state your name for the record. Thank you. My name is Rodney Stano, president of Eldorado County. Uh, unfortunately, two houses outside of city council limits, but I live up on Big Cut Road. Um, thank you, Ms. Matson, for your statement, uh, but I slightly disagree with you in your guys' maneuver tonight. Um, all across America, there has been an abuse of power. It's why people distrust the government. <clears throat> We should be able to trust our government. Your letter to the editor in the Mountain Democrat was absolutely beautiful. I appreciated that. Now, what Mr. Machado is accused of, has done, or is accused of doing, has disgraced the entire council. All of you guys sitting up there, with redevelopment, with the roundabout, the organization that's here tonight, Shred, with everything going on, I believe in our city council. I believe you guys have the best interest of Placerville at heart, whether people agree with me or not, but I believe in you. I think he needs to resign. He needs to resign, he needs to quit. The leave of absence is not good enough. Thank you. Just for the record, if you would state your name. Robin Roars. Sorry. Rodney Stanhope. Oh, wait, no, excuse me, sir, we had you. Thank you. I was just asking Robin since she'd been up a couple times. I find your comments very insincere, Wendy. DVDs would be very helpful to the prosecution, wouldn't you agree? But they've been stopped. The minutes don't re quite reflect what goes on at the city council meetings. But it would be very, very handy to preserve these DVDs. You have space over at the water treatment plant where you've been bringing in boxes. They're very easy to store. And it would stop the... It would create transparency then because we'd all have something to go back to when we want to look at the record. There are citizens in this room that brought to your attention time and time again conflicts of interest. We write letters, we get no answers. We ask questions, we get no answers. You all personally should know about the inconsistencies or the alleged illegalities that have been going on in this city council for a long time. Ask your fire chief, why should citizens track down uh, uh, items when this city council should be representing us? not your own personal interests. And I do mean personal when it came to this redevelopment association and the free money. That's why I recorded the meeting, because of your attitude about getting free state and federal money and not representing the citizens of this town. He should not be our mayor, he should not be on city council, and I would seriously look at each one of your records and find out what else dirty laundry that you should come forth with before we see it in the national headlines. Thank you. Someone else wish to speak on item 10.1?
My name is Sue Rodman. I live in Placerville. I'm a bonafide resident. And I do not condone any of the things that Mayor Machado has alleged to have done. However, I would bring back to the City Council the fact that he was the only person on this council who was willing to work with the group of citizens to put together Major H and to put together the signs and to get it passed. All the rest of you sat there and did nothing. And in fact, when the citizens came forward to talk about the problems with the increased sewer rates, some of us were ridiculed. Uh, so as Wendy said, nobody's all good or all bad. So that, that, is one thing, bit, that is one thing that Dave Machado did, was to step out and represent some of us and a large portion of citizens, because just like the citizens who now are demanding to say, we don't want the roundabout, we don't want to run redevelopment, we also did not appreciate the increase in sewer rates and water rates, and we got something done about it, and it was thanks to David Shadow, as well as to all of the citizens who participated and came to the meetings and talked to the city council over and over about it. So I am with, there is due process, let's use it, let's let the legal system take its course, and if the legal system says then that these allegations are all true, then yes, he needs to be removed from the city council. And I would think that his unconscious would speak as well. Thank you, Sue. Anyone else wish to speak to item 10.1? Council members, I'm Barry Bachelor from Smith Flat. I was probably one of the uh, instigators of laying on the bomb on you people. And I've heard from a lot of the people who live in this community. And what I'm hearing is the people feel that this is just the tip of the iceberg. And I'm saying to you people, you're going to have to go way above and beyond to get the confidence of the city people back. And it's not going to be something that's going to be just put under the rug or put off till September 13th or whatever. We're looking for some action. Thank you much. Thank you. The council can ask him to resign. The council can ask him to take a leave of absence. But you cannot force him to resign. The only way that uh, that resignation could take place is if it was done voluntarily, or if he was the subject of a recall election, uh, or if he's convicted of a felony, or, or even certain misdemeanors that relate to the performance of duties and official duties in his office. All of those would cause there to be a vacancy in the office. There's a couple other. Uh, bases under state law, uh, but none of them would be really applicable to this situation. So those would be the primary ones that would be involved in this situation. Thank you. Any other questions for staff? I think some of the comments crossed over between the two agenda items, uh, and I think of the two, this one is the clearer of the two, <coughs> in which we certainly have a clear right, probably also the simpler of the two. And that would be to uh, have a motion to remove him as mayor. So I'd like to do is there a motion? I'll make that motion. And uh, okay. I was, do I need to include that and, and point you as mayor? Okay. No. Um, if the mayor position becomes vacant, then the uh, vice mayor, who is a mayor pro tem, assumes that position. Okay. So I'll second the motion. Moved by Councilmember Borelli and seconded by Councilmember Matson. Is there any other discussion? Under the nature of the item, would the clerk please call the roll? Vice Mayor Cunha. Aye. Councilmember Borelli. Aye. Councilmember Hagan. Aye. Councilmember Matson. Aye. 
The motion is carried. So we have now officially removed Dave Machado as mayor of the city of Plattsburgh. And as the city attorney just indicated, I will take over in the interim as mayor pro temp. And then just as a point of clarification, uh, the city council has traditionally appointed mayor and vice mayor at their meeting in December. So that will take us to item 10.2, and I will read this item for the benefit of the audience. And as a request council member Dave Machado to take a leave of absence from the city council uh, without compensation for an indefinite period of time. Uh, any, well, any questions for staff and Mr. Driscoll or Morris? Any further clarifications? <laughs> I'll move that uh, Mayor Councilmember Machado uh, take a leave of absence from the city. Uh, from the Classical City Council for an indefinite period of time. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is I would like to point a clarification. May I? Because of the way the motion was raised, um, I need to make sure that you understand you cannot force him to take a leave of absence. Uh, you can request that he take a leave of absence. If he is absent, and I, I should have pointed this out earlier, um, the state law as well as city code provides that if a council member is absent for all from all regular meetings for a 60-day period from their last attendance at a regular meeting that office becomes vacant so and that is an absence that's without permission so if mr. Machado was to ask for a leave of absence in other words seek permission of the council uh, then that section would not apply if he does it and just doesn't show up at the meetings and he risks the fact that his office may become vacant Confusion more? No, I don't think. Actually, yes, there was a point of clarification, I believe. Uh, Vice Mayor Cooney, when you um, brought this motion forward, you read it a leave of absence um, without compensation. That's correct. And uh, the motion did not reflect that. That's my point of clarification. Was it the intention to omit without compensation from your motion? I just want to be clear. Um, I believe I explained that. Um, if you want to go ahead and read the motion, go ahead. No, I mean, we have a, we, the motion's been seconded, so yeah, we could, is there a, we could uh, add, add that wording? Yes, I mean, that, if you so wish to. Am I being asked to amend the motion? And that's the question, I guess. If you ask, if you amended the motion, is the second maker? Yes. Okay, that's fine. So, I move that, um, we um, asked Dave Machado to take a leave of absence without compensation for an indefinite period of time. That's correct. Is there a second to that? I, I made a motion and I yes. agreed with the acceptance. So she, so, I, I, so, so accepted. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. I'll be the second. Moved by Councilmember Matson, seconded by <laughs> Councilmember Hagan to request Mayor, excuse me, David Machado to take a leave of absence without compensation for an indefinite period of time. Would the clerk please call the roll? Vice Mayor Cunha. Aye. Council Member Borelli. Aye. Council Member Hagen. Aye. Council Member Manson. Aye. All right, that concludes these two items. Uh, I think we would like to take about a five minute break and then we will